we're loosening the chuck to put in material. Okay, it opens the chuck. Okay, specimen is already inserted. Now we tighten in the chuck. By using this lever in the bottom right corner, we're moving the tool closer to the specimen. Okay, there it's aligned, more or less. Then by using this lever here, we will move the tool forward towards the specimen. Until the tool touch lightly onto the specimen. When the tool is finally touching the specimen, we will zero the dial on the lever that moved it forward. Okay, we're installing a new tool now that will be appropriate for cutting. The tool has been inserted. Now put in a spacer at the bottom to be able to lift the tool a little bit to the center. Okay, one is to make sure it's absolutely on the tip of the center, tip to tip. There we go. Now tightening it down on both sides. But it's tightened down on both sides and it's also centered onto the center with a cutting tip. This was the position that we ended last time, but just with a different tool. If your dials are zeroed, move your tip backwards and it's now time to start the machine. Now for setting the speed, we're going to run at 495. As in the previous video, we have aligned these three blue sections on the speed mechanism and it's now going to run at 495 reps per minute. Start the machine. Right. That was on and off. Now zeroing. From zero to five, that is one millimeter of forward movement. From zero to one, it's 0 0.2 millimeters of forward movement. Putting it on two first, which is 0 0.4 millimeters in the forward direction. So the depth of cut was set on 0 0.4 millimeters. So now we are cutting automatically by moving this lever down and there it's running into the direction where it was set. It was stopped by pulling this lever back. Okay, now moving backwards. There we go. This machine will have to be stopped manually or else it will run with its tool straight into the chuck. So that lever needs to be pulled up before the chuck is reached with the tool. Maybe a distance of about say 35 millimeter to 50 would be good for students. Now looks at, let, let's look at the machine direction of travel. Okay, you can see that it is moving forward. 
right, we're now going to make it move backward. Push it in the other direction. And now push in the button there. And then pull it to the other way. Now the machine will move in the opposite direction. I think we're done.